Hello, sixth graders. Welcome to Big Ideas Math, Section 7.5, Writing and Graphing Inequalities Lesson. Pause while you write Section 7.5 Lesson in your math notebook. Pause again while you write today's lesson objective in your math notebook. Today's objective is translate words into mathematical inequalities and determine what numbers are solutions of an inequality. Today we'll be starting on page 326 in your math textbook. An inequality is a mathematical sentence that compares expressions. It contains the symbols less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. To write an inequality, look for the following phrases to determine where to place the inequality symbol. We had you write these in your math notebook yesterday, so you should be all set. This is just a reminder for you. Example 1, writing inequalities. Write the word sentence as an inequality. A number C is less than negative 4. So we would write C, the less than symbol, negative 4. So that would look like C less than negative 4. Letter B, a number K plus 5 is greater than or equal to 8. So we would write k plus 5 greater than or equal to symbol 8. So that would look like k plus 5 is greater than or equal to 8. 4 times a number q is at most 16. So we would write 4q less than or equal to 16. So that would look like 4q is less than or equal to 16. Let's move on to example 2, checking solutions. Tell whether the given value is a solution of the inequality. So x plus 1 is greater than 7. And so we would try x equals 8. So x plus 1 is greater than 7. We write the inequality, and we substitute 8 for x. 8 plus 1, it, we're questioning whether that's greater than 7. So we add it up. 9 is greater than 7, so it checks out. So it's good to go. So 8 is the solution of the inequality. Letter B. 7y is less than 27. And we're going to check to see if y equals 4 is a solution for that inequality. So we write the inequality, and then we substitute 4 for y. 7 times 4 is less than 27. And when we multiply, we get 28, because 7 times 4 is 28. 28 is not less than 27. So 4 is not a solution of the inequality. Continuing on with letter C, Z divided by 3 is greater than 5. Z equals 15. So we write the inequality and we substitute 15 for Z. And we have 15 divided by 3 is greater than or equal to 5. So we're trying that out. And we substitute in the 15 for z, and we get 5 when we divide. And 5 is greater than or equal to 5. So 15 is a solution of the inequality. The graph of an inequality shows all the solutions of the inequality on a number line. An open circle is used when a number is not a solution. A closed circle is used when a number is a solution. An arrow to the left or right shows that the graph continues in that direction. This is really, really important, and I know that it was in your notes from yesterday, so if you didn't quite remember it, you need to be sure you put a star next to it or highlight it or do something so that you make sure that you've got that so that it's in your memory as well. So we're going to graph g greater than 2. So we would use an 
open circle because 2 is not a solution, because 2 is not greater than 2. And so we test a number that is to the left of 2. So g equals 0 is not a solution. So we wouldn't want to run our line anywhere to the left. And we would test a number to the right of 2, 3. 3 is a solution because 3 is greater than 2. So if you look at the bottom number line, we've shaded the number line on the side where we found the solution. So the graph shows there are infinitely many solutions. So g greater than 2 is shown by a circle on the 2 and a line going to the right. Example 4, real life application. The NASA Solar Probe Plus can withstand temperatures up to and including 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit. Write and graph an inequality that represents the temperatures the probe can withstand. So our words to pay attention to are temperatures up to and including and 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're going to let T be the temperatures and less than or equal to, because that's what the probe can withstand, is temperatures up to and including, so less than or equal to, and 2,600. So our inequality is T less than or equal to 2,600. And when we graph that, it's everything to the left of 2,600 and the closed circle on 2,600. Your assignment for this lesson is to complete the On Your Own Problems 1 through 13 below. They're also on pages 326 through 328 of your textbook. Show your work and be prepared to share during our next class. Please remember, to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson, you must complete your exit slip, come to our next class prepared with the journal pages or other work from the flipped lesson completed, and be prepared with any work that was assigned in the flipped lesson completed. Be prepared with any questions you have for the teacher, and always have a good attitude. We'll see you next time in class.